The locals were none too happy to see us here. Looks like after the war, they created a veritable technophobic cult here. And its leader managed to trap me in their half-flooded church. I have no idea what they would have done to me had they actually captured me. But with the aid from... An Hi, Artyom. Hello again, Artyom. You did great out there. Or so everyone says. He's near that car! Artyom! Hello again, Artyom! You did not have to say it! Or so everyone When the hell is the door coming in? Water. What? Water, please. What was that governor? This place is bad news. Any greenhorn could get me here. La 
that thing, I guess. Huh? Fuck it, hallelujah. That? There's the bitch! Thank you, thank you. Ah, these devils caught me on my way to the house of the fish. I had a penance from my father, Celandius, and so I got about halfway, and then this got me. Uh, oh, I, I see you're one of the heretics, but I tell you anyway, there is a cashier on this island. There is a device. But we can use it. It's a sin. But you could. I'll just have some rest here before I go back. I'll keep praying for you to this starfish for the rest of my life. It might save your soul.
here. You pretty amazing, Bratuha. That was crazy. Blin, those mutants are pretty hardcore. The villagers are never have a chance against them. You, you just cut through them, Blin. Well, it's pleasure to meet you. Name's Christ, by the way. Are you from the train? Bet the locals wouldn't even talk to you guys. <laughs> Open fire right away, didn't they? <laughs> of course, those dumb bastards. I've been here long enough to know the drill. They have a cult over there. The dumbasses are hung up on technology having destroyed the old world. So they don't exactly take kindly to smart guys here. And me? Well, they were just gonna lock me up until I agreed to go fight those electrical demons of theirs to absolve my sins. Because I was in cahoots with Satan, apparently, blyad. <laughs> Some Satanist I am. <laughs> I've been fixing engines and trading all my life. Now, now I'm moving to the east. Blin, I'm sick of this part of country. There's just nothing to do here anymore. The cities are gone. Bandits, beast all around. Lots of space across the Volga, though. Plenty of opportunity. So, I came here with my rail car full of trading goods, hoping to make a few sales on the way east. What a fool I was. I was lucky to get out alive. <laughs> anyway, since you've arrived, I've been thinking of this little plan I had. Never had a chance to pull off alone, but since you guys are also going east... Now, judging by what I could see with my binoculars, it's a miracle your engine is still running. Oh, by the way, take the binoculars. I'll show you where everything is. Look at the bridge first. See that section on top? It should lower if the emergency mechanism still works. Katya from the church should know better. I've never been to the bridge myself. There, to the right, that huge hangar. That's a terminal, Bli. The cult is considered a holy place. Covered it all in graffiti, schmafiti. There, tsarfish <laughs> live there, you know. Stupid bastards. Even further right, see the building near all those carriages? Used to be a train depot. There are some bandits there now, but the place itself ain't bad. Oh, the area nearby isn't too bad either. There's a good hunting and stuff. I set up several safe camps around there. If you find them, you could rest, fix your equipment. <laughs> Unless you prefer spending nights at an open campfire. Now, come on, let me show you my home now. So help yourself. You can have anything you like. It. Can't carry all the shit anyway. <laughs> Come on, don't. Oh, anyhow, gotta tell you, this isn't just a pretty face. I've got a whole lot of knowledge stored up in here. Look at these hands. They know how to, how to fix stuff. You'll never have second thoughts about picking me up. Well, 
Let's go buy some smokes from the villages before the assholes chase me away. Dumb cretins didn't like my life. Yeah, I've been banned from the village and the bridge ever since. No, you could take the zip line down. Just hook up and uh, away you go. But I guess you shouldn't start a fight with them right away. They are dumb and brainwashed, so they were probably just scared shitless by your arrival. I'll bet they thought Judgment Day had come and right on time, too. <laughs> You have nothing to fear from them. Yeah. The beast, wow, that's another story, bro. Artyom, I heard you call me. It was so great there. <coughs> but I heard you and couldn't leave you.
It's good I can't found me. Oh, what is this place? See the barrels? They're chemicals of some kind. It's either for storage or it's a dump. And that short could have been put there by the locals to mark the spot. Thank you, my love. Oh, okay. All right. So, uh, Artyom, let's pick her up now? No way in hell. I can... I can walk just fine. I'll just rest a bit and get going. <laughs> the old man's probably going seven sorts of crazy now, thinking his precious daughter got hurt or something. <sighs> Dad, it's me. My radio battery died. I got it wet. Other than that, I'm fine. Artyom and the guys are here. <laughs> Sam, is that you? <coughs> Thanks for helping find Anna. Now I want you to drag her butt here with extreme prejudice. Time to talk some sense into that trash. <coughs> Stepan's asking for some too. Try to get civilians on board. Everyone's got nuts here. <coughs> Head back. Help Stepan persuade my father about letting Katya and Nastya travel with us. Artyom, I am feeling better now. Really, I am. So, Sam, tell me what the real enemy bases look like so that we know when, when we see it. Well, first of all, there are these two human old robots. Artyom, help us here. I... We... We have to go back now, I guess. Hi, Artyom. Alright, welcome to the crew. What? Thank you. What let you down? I don't know. Hey, Artyom. See how it all worked out? Come here, Artyom. Have a seat. Look, we have an opportunity to cross the bridge without an assault. There are trade caravans going up the river, and the bridge dwellers do business with them. So, 
Disguised as such traitors, we will infiltrate the bridge and lower it. Katya says it still works. They won't be able to stop us if we move fast. And should they try, we'll cross it no matter what those fanatics think. They want blood, they will get it. So now, we only have to wait for the traitor's bull. Colonel, sir, we can't just leave them here. They will be eaten alive. Sipan, did you ever try using your head? Do you know where we are going? What we are going to face on the way there? Where, pray tell, are they going to sleep on the Aurora? Atop the coal crates? We Spartans can handle it. But for a woman with a six-year-old daughter, no less, this is unacceptable. I'll give them my bedroll and move into the stove. You will fall asleep and get your throat cut the next day you get guard duty after trying to sleep there. Still, I, I know we can't leave them. Let's just collect that carriage Katya told us about while we wait. We can't leave the child here. And anyhow, how long are we going to sleep in turns for? Are you starting that again? How? How are we going to collect that carriage? I'm not taking the Aurora there. No, you don't need it. I have a rail car hidden in the terminal. It can tow a carriage like nobody's business. Artyom and I can go get it and, and bring the carriage back. No way I'm letting you go. It will take us both till morning to finish the repairs, and I can't handle it myself in time. Okay, okay, have it your way. I'm done playing the monster here. We get that carriage. We take the civilians with us. Artyom, will you handle this? Listen, Artyom. If the caravan is sighted, drop everything and rush to the port. It's our best chance of traversing the bridge. Thanks, Dad. Katya and Nastya will be so grateful. Here, Artyom. It's a breaker for the rail car. It won't run without this. She's a real babe, Artyomich. No two ways about it. We went to hell and back, Hen and I. So much stuff you hold, so... Many tight spots she saved me from. Look, Artyom, since you're going to the terminal, hear me out. It's quite a distance away, and look, if you go at night, there's less of a chance you might run into bandits. They stay at their camps when it's dark. But it's not gonna be easy either, since more beasts come out, and there are also electrical anomalies. The fanatics call them the demons of electricity, so you should think about your options before heading out. Duke is on a mission in that area. He's keeping tabs on the bridge. Reception is bad there. We get mostly static from him. Anyway, if you meet him, he'll update you on the latest developments in the terminal. I bet you've conspired with Anna and Stefan. I care for those two no less than you. But you don't know if what's ahead is any better than the fanatics. I guess we'll have to live and see. Great job persuading the old man. Anna, thank you and Artyom for helping us. I don't know what would have become of us without you. Who is a cursed place? And that's the Don't thank us before it's all ready to go. It all hangs on Artyom now, so wish him luck. Check out my setup here, Artyom. As soon as it reaches 50, you know I'm The whole thing starts hissing like A proper workbench. With storage space for all my tools, and some to spare. You can clean your weapons and make ammo for them here, just like with any other workbench you might find. My gun rack is only available here on the Aurora, though. I'll keep samples of every gun you find, and you can exchange them whenever you want. Always in the best working condition. Oiled and shiny like new. <laughs> You won't have to install any attachments again, though. I am going to make you all competent gunsmiths eventually. Listen, Artyom, I have something for your TR. You can try installing it. Use the workbench. Well, I won't keep you here any longer.
and use Tupan. Thank you. Oh, it's... I don't even mention it. <laughs> <laughs>